Time Magazine said of Martha Stewart when it named her one of America's 25 most influential people. She is now simply Martha, cooking, sewing, gilding, planning, wallpapering, and painting her way into every corner of your life. Last week, Stewart, whose recipe for 1990s family life has grown into a media empire, took control of her own destiny from Time, Inc. and named the new company Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. This includes her namesake magazine, television series, newspaper advice column, books, and her mail order catalog, Martha by Mail. We're pleased to have her back at this table for a consideration of this new turn in her life. Welcome back. Thank you. And you start soon on uh, CBS This Morning as part of that, but I don't want to talk about that yet. Tell me why you wanted to do this, to buy your way out of Time Inc. Well, when you have a magazine with your name on it that's yes. growing quite rapidly in popularity and in readership, um, and you have people calling you Martha on the street, in the airports, uh, wherever you go. Um, and you've worked really, really hard um, at what you do. Um, I really felt that um, the business was, um, had a direction, I wanted to take it in a certain direction. And I had a very kind parent, Time Warner. Uh, they started the magazine with me five years ago. They funded it. They were um, uh, actually the owner of the whole thing. They owned the magazine and the television. And um, I just felt like it was time. I was old enough. Um, I um, had proven myself to myself that I could really run a company like this, that I should own it. I should own my name. I should own my copyright. I should own my business. What if they had said, Martha, it's not for sale? Um, well, that would have been probably all right, but they didn't say that. It, was, it wasn't like it was driving me, you know, I didn't have to buy it. It wasn't that kind of thing. But when the um, possibility of buying it came up, which it did, it came up in a conversation, um, I jumped on it. Here's what Don Logan said. She came to us and indicated she wanted to be more in control of her own destiny. Uh, she came to see us. We didn't want out. Martha wanted out. You know, so they, this is not something they wanted to do because it is said that the magazine alone was generating revenues of about $200 million. Well, I'm not at, at liberty really sure. to discuss the financial aspects of the business uh, as of yet. You know, and we you know, do, do maybe an offering or something. Um, right. I will be able to talk about that. But, um, but it was profitable. It certainly is one of the fastest growing magazines ever in magazine history. It's grown from 250,000 circulation uh, five and a half years ago to over 2 million. We're now at a rate base of 2.2 million. So it's been very rapid and with wonderful revenues from advertising and circulation. So um, it's good. But primarily, Time Inc. is a magazine publisher. They have other businesses like Oxmoor House, which is a book publisher. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they are not merchandisers. They are not online services. They are not uh, newspaper columns. They are not uh, a lot of things that I really want to be. So I think that they understood that, too, that I wanted to go places where um, they didn't necessarily want to go with me. Was it a pleasant or a difficult negotiation? It was a long negotiation. It took over a year. What was the sticking um, point? Well, it was like it was, they, weren't, they weren't crazy about selling, and I had to find money. I had to find a way to raise the money to buy the company. And uh, that was quite a process, I must tell you. I was, uh, I was aided and abetted by uh, Sharon Patrick, who is now yeah. the CEO of my right. company. Uh, Sharon came from McKinsey and then had her own consulting firm in media. Uh, and she's brilliant um, and lots of fun to work with. And the two of us put our heads together and we um, first wrote a vision statement. Then we wrote a business plan. Then we went to um, no more than 10, I think it was nine or 10, commercial banks and investment bankers. And they all said, we're ready to do this deal. Um, everyone was enthusiastic about the prospects of the company, but the, the um, amount of equity they wanted to take, uh, the amount of fees they wanted to charge, the interest rates, just staggering. And this was a good company. This had, this had real earnings. It wasn't like this was a real risky business. No, this was not a startup. No, this was it was not that was a startup. In motion. And uh, in fact, even though it was young, it was a very, um, very well company. It was, a, you know, it was, it was doing well. So, um, Synergistic. Yeah, and so I was like shocked. One banker uh, told me, uh, oh yeah, we'd love to do it, but we want 70% of the equity, 
And now, what uh, did you say or do well, he when he said, said 70%? He said, he said uh, what do you think of that? I said, are you sure it's 70, 30? You don't mean 30, 70? He says, no, 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 70, 30. Yeah. And I just, um, I was just, I said, I think I, I feel sort of ill. And I just left because it was like, like, you know, unbelievable to me. Yeah. They, but we did get some very fine offers. Did in the end you have to give up equity to raise the money? No. So you got all the equity. Yeah. And you Except for a small stake. As a result of the merge, I, I call it sort of a merger, yeah. um, and Martha Stewart Living was purchased by my company, Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. Yeah. And um, as a result of that, Time retains a small ownership. In the magazine or it, the no, entire, in the entire big business? Yeah. In the entire business. It's um, substantially less than 20%, and I um, have the rest. So, um, so I'm very happy with that. Yeah. So now you can give stock options to all those valuable employees well, of yeah, your company and do things like that. Well, yeah, that was one of the like objectives. That. Yes, and I couldn't do that as a, as part of the larger parent. You bet. And I couldn't. Uh, I could. I just. I was not the mistress of my destiny. <laughs> well, now here's what it says. Uh, having found this is from uh, Ad Age today. Having finally freed herself from Time Inc., Martha Stewart is already plotting her next big move, going public. Well, um, when you do a, a purchase like I just did, and you have great hopes and dreams for the future, uh, going public is sort of um, is sort of like uh, the American dream. Yeah. Uh, I don't know when that will be. Um, we certainly have talked to um, investment banking houses, and we have talked um, to people who think it's a very good possibility. So I will um, continue to talk. And now, where did you get the money then? Well, we got it really from internally generated businesses. Um, it's our idea that, that Martha Stewart Living um, should have strategic partners in American corporations. And you'll be hearing about a lot of these strategic alliances, I like to call them, in the next couple weeks. Uh, we've announced that we already have um, um, business dealings with the Sherwin-Williams Corporation in terms yeah. of paint, with the Kmart Corporation. Martha Paints, is this what the deal is going to be? Called, they're called uh, Everyday Paints, yeah. Martha Stewart Everyday Paints. And uh, with Kmart, we are doing a line of bedding and um, um, bath accessories and bath towels, uh, which is a um, really interesting um, uh, affiliation. So uh, it's an extension of something I've now, already been doing with Kmart. But let me understand this. So you've got this relationship with these people, and is this sort of betting on the come for them in a sense? You're going to go out and put your name on some products that they'll be sold well, much in their than, stores, and they'll have Martha Stewart oh, paints or whatever. See, I've never of. licensed my name to anyone. And are you doing and this now? No. We are really, in, in my mind, strategic partners in, in the uh, fact that the sheets and towels that are, we're, de we're designing for Kmart are designed at Martha Stewart Living. We are really in charge of the design. But they own the sheets and towels, and they'll sell them well, in they Kmart stores. Them. Yes, yes, indeed. And um, and we are working with the vendors with Kmart. The new team at Kmart, by the way, yeah. is excellent. And that's why I'm right. doing this. How do you feel about this? I mean, just tell me from your heart, how do you feel about this important turn in your life? I feel really good. Well, I mean, okay, it's like, like when you work for, you know, I've been thinking about this for three years and uh, working on the company for three years very hard to make it a viable entity. And, uh, and as a viable entity, I know that now um, I'll, I'll feel really good at building it into something even bigger and better than it is. And my staff, everyone who works with me, Dave Stewart, my new president of publishing, yeah. and Sharon, and uh, all the other people who are going to, to really um, just uh, dig in here uh, for the long haul are very excited. Will you have to work harder now that you're working for yourself? I always work hard. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just continue in the same old mode. Yeah. Is it, I don't, we've had long and interesting conversations about your personal life and your, your previous marriage and, and everything else. But when you look at all this, um, what mountain is it you most want to climb? Um, the education mountain. Uh -huh. um, really and truly, I think Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia is, an, is first and foremost an education company. We are, um, it says Omnimedia, it's stretching across all fields um, and I, of media, and I think that uh, we really want to teach. And I think we're doing a good job at it already. The magazine certainly teaches a tremendous amount of information to people. The television program, um, which is now one day a week, and uh, but many times during the week uh, on reruns, yeah. is going five days a week with the best of on the weekend. So it'll be on six days. Original this is a new programming. syndicated Martha yeah. or something. Right, Martha Stewart Living, yeah. starting in September. And uh, that is going to be a very exciting way to see, again, the synergy between the printed word and the televised mm. word. 
Uh, we have uh, plans underway for an online service, not just an online website or something. You know, we're re really online service. We are, we are going to provide something very big and very important. Like Martha Online? Uh, well, it's Martha Stewart. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you my T-shirt. Oh, let me see it. Come on, let's see it. Let's <laughs> well, this see is a part of it. You know, this is just let's a joke, it. but I thought it was sort of cute. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, we'll be the MS. Martha Stewart CBS. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, MS CBS. MS NBC. Oh, no, I got it. You know, MS CBS. It. But, uh, no, but we, uh, we consider see it again. ourselves... <laughs> But I think oh, it's like, let me see it again. Well, MSCBS, right there. Yeah. Well, um, so that we have great plans. We, we always <laughs> joke about it. But um, but I think in terms of reaching great numbers of people with yeah. information that they really are very desirous of. Who are your heroes? In the world Bill of Bill Gates, Warren well, Buffett. Uh, Jack Welch? No, you know what? The heroes are the teachers in America, the people mm. who are really teaching people things, uh, the experts in the fields that I'm so interested in, in terms yeah. of all the things that we cover in the magazine. Those are my heroes. They're the unsung heroes. The people you go to to get information to communicate yes. through the Martha Stewart. The people who Leonard. have worked really hard in a field of just maybe antique collecting or, or in cooking or restoring or in uh, gardening. All those people People are my heroes and we love to have them on the program. So what you do when you decide to put it on your program, which you then put in your magazine, which you then put on your online service, online service yes. which you then put in your column, which you then put in your Q&A, which you then put in whatever Omnimedia is for you, is really in the end Martha deciding that this is something that most of Ms. America should know about and then you could get some expert who will help us understand how to do this in the yeah. best way possible. Yes, in a way. And it's also a way to preserve knowledge. We are trying to preserve crafts and arts and, yeah. um, and information and for the future. And what's the biggest misconception about Martha Stewart at this important juncture in her life? Misconception. Um, oh, well, one, one person said today, we did a, we did a, um, a satellite tour, you know, to 23 cities. Yeah. And somebody said, oh, well, you know, the, the main thing I hear about you is that you don't do it yourself. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that that's sort of a misconception, and it doesn't bother me. That you're me. not getting up at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't do it. You feeding know, the chickens. You know, I, don't, I can't dig a hole and plant a tree or stuff like that. That's, that's sort of a silly misconception. Martha Stewart uh, now owns her business, will soon, at some point in the future, be going public, um, will be on CBS, will be at a lot of places uh, in your home, on your screen in your magazines, in your newspapers, everywhere you look, there is Martha. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Pleasure. You. We'll be right back. Stay with us.